Hello everyone and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to my UAB Dynasty or the Michael Schilling Coaching Carousel here at NCAA 13. Last episode we the the Cal we the the, the Blazers lost in a crushy way, losing 21 to 23-21 to the East Carolina Pirates. So not a good way to start off your conference USA chant Kyle. But the thing you're not looking forward to right now is our next opponent. It's our home opener, and it's against the undefeated Houston Cougars. So now UAB has a chance to pull off a major upset. But their offense is, Houston's offense is better. Their defense is better. But now there's only one way to find out who is the better team. As this will be UAB's first Home opener under my offensive coordinator. So we play two games on the road, one victory, and one heartbreaking loss. So here we go, as we get set to go. And there you see the home jerseys for the first time. The Blazers of UAB have taken the field and they're hoping they can blaze a trail to a home victory today. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. Right now, time for kickoff. And ESPN College Football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. Here in Birmingham, Alabama is where these two teams are set to fight it out. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Tonight's primetime matchup is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. And it's a matchup between the Houston Cougars and the UAB Blazers. Plus, this is the first time this series we're going to see UAB. Let's play the theme, the fight song. As this is our home opener. And of course, this stadium, Legion Field, is home to a, the the Compass USAB Compass Bowl. Here, as you can see, so we're gonna start off with the, the lead, a halfback lead here. So as we start this thing off, so let's take a look at this arena here. Look, oh, we can't. We have to make a play first. So Bell gives it to Palmer. Palmer, and he gets no gain. And nope, we got a studio update right here. Let's take a look. Ooh, but tough luck for Ohio Michigan State. As they get upset by the 22nd ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. What you talking about, Willis? Wake Forest lost to Georgia Tech. Texas A&M beat Mississippi State, and Toledo beat Bowling Green. So Georgia Tech fall doesn't is not going to fall out of the top 25. And uh, so it's time to start off with the slam here. Now we can scan this building as you get the stadium. As you can see, the main thing that disappoints everybody. See that's what's in there. You see that? That's the press box. There's no press box in here what in the stadium whatsoever. No press box. You just gotta be in there. And right over there up there is the yeah, this has to this hat that has to be the press box up there. So you don't have no fancy here, so this is a low budget school. So here we go as we get set to go. And here we go, and there's Palmer, and again, third and eight. So it's time for the four verticals in the bathroom. So here we go. 
Oh, here we go, as we gotta throw, we gotta throw to Stratton, and there's a first down, and a huge gain, and there's Sparky the Dragon, which I gotta check on Wikipedia before tomorrow's episode to see what that dragon's real name is, but right now we're just gonna call him Sparky. So a huge gain right there for the, the Blazers, and now we are... So here we go, and Palmer, and again, the defense got him. The defense, got, they got him. Phone's ringing, and we're going to go with a fight song here. Well, here we go. And we got the throw off in time, that's good. And oh, we got a studio update. And good news for the Knights, they lost to SMU, oh boy. I think we have to play them down the road, oh yeah, yeah. That's not good, so four verticals again in the bathroom. Oh, here we go, and there you see a throw, a good throw to Stratton, and he dropped it. Ugh. So that was it. So the good news is we keep the ball. The good news is they screwed up. So so far it's been totally yeah, totally even right now here for the for the little teams. And here's Palmer trying to make a move. And there's a good move. And there's a first down for UAB. So we're gonna go with the mid draw. Hopefully we're gonna get something big out of UAB. Here, so here we go. There's Palmer once again. And he only get, he gained five yards, so that's a great way to start things. That's a good, great attempt. Well, it's time to do a lead draw. Hopefully this time we get some more work done on this play here. Here we go, and there you see Palmer again, and he gets, he's going to get the first down. And there's Sparky again. And we're going to do another rush play by, by accident here. And there's the play, but the bad news is it's, wow, he broke a tackle. Nice, good job. Good work. So we're going to go with the Z under here. So here we go, and this is probably going to be revenge for it. And Heron dropped it. Oh, yeah, yeah. How clumsy is our tight end? So third, here we go, third and seven. We got so we're one for two in the third down conversions, which is good. So here we go, and once again we blew it. So Houston celebrates that the Houston defense is continuing to celebrate this thing. So here we go, we. So we're going to go with the draw, and it is still no score, so 13 seconds left, as there's Quentin Palmer going to make a move, and oh, look what we got, where are you at, and a first down in a studio update, let's take a look, as Florida State beats Virginia Tech, good job guys, and see Sanders, are you saying Colonel Sanders plays for Florida State? Time for the flanker under, but at this point, by the time we set up, the time will be up. And the answer is, I'm right. Time's up, and the score is no score. So a very good start for the for UAB, but we keep getting hit with bad luck. So we're going to start this first at 10 
with the stretch. Here we go, and here's Quentin Palmer again. And there he goes, and he gets down with the two yard line. Two yards on that play. So, right now it is fine right now, so. So we're gonna go with another fight song. And there's a throw! No! He didn't get the throw off in time, so it's a sack. So we're going to go with the clear out. And that was a huge blow for UAB's chances of complete completing this. So here we go, and there you see a throw. And it was intercepted by King. Ugh. So that is huge for Houston as they celebrate and they didn't get a chance to score. So, and right now we're fighting in this thing. I'm pretty impressed with our off our defense right now. If you guys saw in the beginning, if you you're free to rewind it if you can, but you promise me you'll come back for that. As you can clearly saw that UAB was behind so I'm surprised we're still fighting in this so whoever scores first is probably li likely to win this thing and here's Quentin Palmer and again he deeks the deep the deeks Houston's defense and there's another first down for the Blazers so we're gonna go deep curl on this one and hopefully we get to pull this off. So hopefully we score on this drive. Unless another interception by Bell. And there we go. And I knew it. Another interception by Dawson got it. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bell, like, come on, man. Wake up. Wake up. And, oh, boy. This may not be good. So we're going to PA all go. And, uh, oh boy, this may, this is not good for UAB right now. So we're on our own end zone, and again, as Heron caught it, and we are out of our end zone. And there's Sparky. And there's a huge first down for UAB. And Dawson almost got another interception there. We're going to go with the slash here, which so the defense for Houston has not is not figuring out how to solve this. And there's Quentin Palmer again, but that time he only gained three, which is, which is okay, but could have been better. So here we go, halfback dive. So here we go, and here we go. Go and there's Palmer and that was dumb by Palmer. We're gonna go P A T E corner. So one for four on the third downs, which means we have not been converting well. So that, that could probably be why we probably going to lose this. And right there, that was a bad timing. And oh, we got a studio update here. Oh boy, tie game. So and once again, I'm surprised our offense is doing pr pretty good. So four verticals again in the bathroom. And there's a throw caught by Boyd in the first down. What a play! What up, throw by Bell, and I guess he's starting to make up those two interceptions earlier. And here we go, and there's a throw to Quentin Palmer. Palmer, 
with it, and he only gained he gained eight yards, which is good, which is outstanding. And right now, it looks like right now we may have no choice but to go for the slash here. And we're 31 seconds left here, so we want that lead. Here and here we go. Here's Quinton Palmer making a move, and there's a first goal, first and goal, and there's Sparky dancing in the. Wait, is he doing Gundam style? Oh no, he isn't. That's not Gundam style. So, and the clock is ticking here. So UAB better hurry. So here we go, and here goes Quinton Palmer. Touchdown Blazers! And finally, with 16 seconds left in the half, we f there's a score in this game. And it is for UAB. Yeah, that's what you, yeah, you should say that. And right now, UAB's offense continues to rock Houston. And just like that, the Blazers have a 7-0 lead as we start the second half. And there it is, and uh, oh boy, now they were ready for us. Oh boy. So now we're going to... Somebody was not paying attention. Somebody was not paying attention. So here we go. So we got to throw to Smith. And we got a third and eight. Which is good because we can get closer out of the end zone. So we're going to go blast here. One for five, which is unacceptable right now. Well, it's better... Well, it's better than what we had earlier. And there's Palmer. And make that two for six now. Which is still unacceptable, but hey, at least we did at least we converted. Now all this time for the ISO. As here we go as right now as Palmer makes a move, but guess what? Second and twelve. Uh, he lost two on that play. That was not smart. That was really not smart. Was not smart play there. So we're gonna go with a quick slant here. So as we get set to go for this play, and there's a throw to Williams, and there's another first down for UAB. As Jerry Bell's 5 for 11, as though right now things right now are looking good. And don't forget, we played Houston in the very first episode of this coaching carousel, which we lost. Which we lost. So this could be a perfect opportunity for me for revenge. And there's Herring, and there's a first down. So this could be a chance for of revenge on Houston for me after losing... One of, it used to be one of the three teams that lost, that beat me in my first season of this of this series. So it's time for the four verticals in the bathroom. So every time we use this play so far in this game, well, 96% of the time, it ended in, in an interception. Now is it going to be this time? Nope! Instead is another touchdown for the Blazers! And a great play there by Stratton. And it's a first and it's another touchdown for UAB. So a very big score there for the Blazers. And it is now a 13-0 lead. Now 14-0. But here come the Cougars. But they got a field goal. Which which I think they weren't much of a threat in this one. So one more touchdown could potentially seal the deal. For UAB, and here's Quinton Palmer, but he only lost one yard. Well, it's better than nine. That's all I can say. And uh, please do excuse the uh, like lack of time, because right now we got a lot more things here. And here's Quinton Palmer, and again he lost another yard.
My goodness. So we're going to go with a Seattle play. Right now we're two for six, so don't forget we do not want to make another mess up. One mess up and Houston's back in it. And they're back in it. Ugh. And they're back in it. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, wake up. So it's 14 to 9, so they did, do not convert the first. They do not convert a field goal. Thank God, because that would have been frustrating. We would be panicking if that was the case. So here's Quinton Palmer, and he, he gained three, so that's which is okay, but. All we gotta do now is save time. Is to w kill the clock. If we kill the clock well, we can win this thing. And there you see Quentin Palmer, and that was not a smart move. It was not a very smart move. So it's time for a Z under. So here we go, and we got a play, and once again, Bell, wake up, man! Jeez, and Houston's now gonna try and gonna take the lead, and nope, they did not. We got the ball back. Phew, good job, defense. And there's Quentin Palmer into, wow, look at this, and, oh, look what we got here. Huge first down for UAB. So we're going to go with the slam, and obviously Bell better wake up. Thank God, thank God for our good defense. And here goes Palmer, and another first down for UAB. Oh boy, and, and right now ev all this, the student section, which doesn't have a cool name, which is kind of a bummer because UAB needs a good fan section name. So we're going to go with the Power Zero here and uh, hang on, I'm curious, where is the student section in real life? Is any If anyone from UAB knows where the student section is, can you type me a comment letting me know where it is? Hmm. Apparently this set, set thought about drawn on this side is... Sponsored by EA Sports. Well, this one is sponsored by <laughs> EA Sports. <laughs> Both, uh, clever EA, clever. How you sponsor a stadium named Legion Field, but yet you can't spell Car Care Bowl. Yes, there is a typo, which you're going to see later on in the season, calling it the Car Car Bowl. And it's second and one. Bye. <laughs> that would be funny if UAB actually makes it to the Car Care Bowl. Or the car car bowl. So let, look in the Hawaii when I when I discuss it and uh, oh boy, oh boy, this may be bad. So here we go. We're gonna try a. Uh, Sprint. Let's try the sprint. Two for eight. Again, that is very unacceptable. Unacceptable, but don't worry, we'll get it back. And there's Quentin Palmer and make that three for nine. We're we're starting to convert very well. So that's what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Palmer. Way to go, man. Keep it up, man. So right now UAB continues to make it through the Houston defense. Who are ironically they're two and zero. Oh. So you're honestly telling me their offense is better than that their defense. And oh spear, and a second and four. So here we go, off tackle here. As Palmer is out, and here comes Pearson, and there's another first thing down, and there's a first and goal. So this could end this. This could end it right here. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> so he will return soon, but at this point, you may as well just call it a night because right now. Wait, 
Where are we? We're gonna... Palmer 68 overall. Ooh, I don't know. We're gonna keep him in. Then we're gonna rest him once the season's done. So right now, 52 seconds left. How could we lose this? Touchdown Blazers! Another play by Palmer. That's gonna do it. Houston, you can kiss your undefeated season goodbye. And that's what you get for beating me in the very first episode of the series. Of a new series. As UAB upsets Houston 21 to 9. So we rebound after a heartbreaking loss to East Carolina. No, I know what, no I'm not going to do another episode of Oklahoma State. That one's going to be tomorrow. So a very big victory for UAB, and it was much needed according to the sporting here on EA Sports. So now let's do some recruiting here on uh, here on our recruiting board. As right now, as you can see, our team needs. We'll take a look here. As right now, we need. Right now, we have a senior at quarterback. So. And our center, Jerry Bell's a 78 overall. So right now we're technically all set. So, so we're going to take a look at our recruiting board here. It's John Daly, the one-star prospect right now. We're going to talk to him for a while here. As he has committed... And he has committed to UAB. So he we got a hat back of the future in UAB. And here we go. We're going to talk to him for 30 minutes. Let's hope we have that same thing. Nope. So we're going to talk to Kyle Anderson by freak accident. So we're going to give him a prospect's choice here. As you can see, he's considering Tulane. What? Are you, are you honestly telling me you're going to a school that has terrible football team and school? Well, they did reach a bowl game, so I can't lie to them there. So again, we're going to talk to our quarterback friend named Mike Pizza. Well, right now he's in the top eight. Here, as you can see, we're going to give him a prospect's choice. Well, right now we are making... Right now we are doing pretty well, and well, we're gonna, he's not ready for a visit yet, so we can't make him visit here, so campus lifestyle, again, we're not gonna compare him to Hawaii, but we are, but that's gonna hurt getting us Mike Pizza there. We're a championship contender, we're gonna make a pitch here. Well, that's why we want you to come, Pizza, jeez. As you can see, Hawaii gained a special amount, but they're 280 behind, so... So I think that is enough for recruiting for this episode. Don't forget there's going to be another one tomorrow. So a very big victory. The Blazers are now 2-1. and one. But look who's coming to town next. The Central Florida Knights. One of Dolph Ziggler's choices. But right now, it's going to be another tough one here. So we could go 3-1. and one. If the Blazers somehow pull off something like they did to Houston. So the student section is already ready. If UAB can somehow beat the Knights. So, and I can't believe I was right. The team that scores first is Paul. It's going to ask what won the game. And how ironic, it was us. So this is going to be a t another tough challenge for UAB. So join us again, why don't you guys? As we, but before we do, let's take out the Heisman standing right now here. So a very big victory for UAB. Who was trying to go into the bowl game for the first time since 2004 when they lost to the in the Hawaii Bowl. And right now, with that record 2 and 1, they are starting to begin 
a major rebuilding project. So this is going to be a major rebuilding project here on this show. As you can see, Daly did commit to UAB. And it's saving, 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 saving. There we go. And uh-oh. Look, three and one. Well, we beat a previously undefeated school. And you can see the thing is saying, beat a higher ranked team. Well, yeah, we did. And we're going to teach him how to finish them off. Well, we almost didn't there, actually. So as we take a look at the top 25, as you can see, Alabama, who won the national championship last night, so congrats to them, is number one. Followed by Oklahoma, then Notre Dame, who put in a nice effort, but wasn't enough. Then Oregon, then Texas, then Georgia, then Wisconsin, then USC, then Kansas State, who lost in the Fiesta Bowl, then Auburn, who they ended up wiping out Kent State big time. Ooh. Then TCU, then Texas A&M, then Florida State, which we moved up. A, they moved up five spots. Way to go, guys. Then NC State, then Michigan State, then Utah, then Toledo, then Ohio State, then Virginia Tech. They fell. Then Clemson, then Mississippi State, then Georgia Tech, then LSU, then Penn State. And finally, Washington. And dropping out is Wake Forest. So they dodged a major bullet there. As we take a look at the conference standings, as we are in the East, as you can see right now, we are in the title hunt. Well, you know what makes no sense? We're 1-1, one and, one, and yet UCF is one below us. I get, but one team we are not looking forward to base facing is so Southern Miss. So wait, Southern Miss. So let's take a look at the Heisman watch first before we can before we see us. Bo O'Brien from Georgia, Chris Alexander of Ohio of Notre Dame, Kenneth Robinson of TCU, Patrick Francis from Texas A&M, and Frank Hayes from Texas. As we take a look, and uh, we're going to check out when, well, who, when do we play Southern Miss. And now we got Mississippi State after UCF. Oh boy. Then Memphis. Then Marshall. Those two are probably going to be really easy. Week 10. And then the big showdown against Washington. Will I get revenge on Washington for beating me in a bowl game? Well, we're going to wait later in the series. So come back next time as UCF comes to UAB. And hopefully, get get ready to get their suits of armor burned. See you guys then.